In today's video, I'll share my top first aid remedy to help nip dog eye infection in the bud, or at the very least, help stabilize the eye infection before getting over to the vet. Hi, it's Joanna with my Golden Doodle Diary. With me here, as usual, is my Golden Doodle Sophie. If you want to find out more about doodle dogs and doggy care, subscribe to my channel. It makes a big difference. Now, on with the video. So today we're talking about dog eye infection, something virtually every dog owner will have to deal with at one point or another. Eye infections mostly present as redness in the whites of the eye, some swelling, weeping, some of which can dry and close up the eye, and most likely the dreaded eye boogers. Not exactly the cute fun part of having a dog. Your dog's eye infections may be caused by an allergy to things like pollen or grass seeds, or from a physical injury where the dog has scratched its eye. Or quite commonly, it may be conjunctivitis, otherwise known as pink eye, which spreads very easily from dog to dog. So we're talking about quite a spectrum of different conditions. Now, most often you will need to wait at least a few hours and sometimes a few days before you can get an appointment with a vet. So what can you do in the meantime? There is a home remedy which you can store in your kitchen pantry, which doesn't go off and which can be used right away to help contain and even resolve the infection. It is colloidal silver, which is simply distilled water which contains suspended silver ions and microscopic silver particles made by electrolysis. It's something that's been used for a long, long time for its antibacterial properties. And by the way, it is not the same as mixing mechanically powdered silver with water. Colloidal silver is safe to use topically for cleansing infections. Shortly, I'll let you know exactly how I use it on the delicate eye area. But before I do, here's a personal backstory on how this became my top go-to first aid remedy. Actually, it all started with kittens. My mum stumbled upon just how well colloidal silver works on eye infections when she was breeding kittens. At only a few weeks old and still nursing, they all got a nasty case of eye infection, which fused and swelled their eyes shut. We're talking pus, we're talking a big mess. Of course, mum went to the vet with them, who put them onto all kinds of ointments and treatments, but unfortunately, things just kept getting worse. It got to the point where mum worried the kittens may permanently lose their sight. Figuring she has nothing to lose, she started to use colloidal silver to flush their eyes and did this about three times a day. And lo and behold, she finally saw a significant improvement within the first day. And then the kitten's eye infections cleared up completely within two or three days. Now the issue I had with my golden doodle Sophie when she was about a year old is each morning she'd wake up with big globby boogers in the corners of both eyes. In her case, it was likely a pollen allergy. So I took her to the vet who gave her a steroid ointment. This worked, but as soon as I stopped giving it, the eye boogers returned, just like the vet suspected may happen. I didn't want to keep giving her the steroid ointment ongoing, so instead I'd flush her eyes with colloidal silver, and I'll tell you how in a moment. And after about two weeks, everything cleared up completely and there haven't been any issues since then. More recently, my friend Krista's poodle, KJ, developed an eye infection with pus and swelling around the eyes. The vet appointment was in two days time, so I suggested she meanwhile use colloidal silver on KJ's eyes. And sure enough, her infection cleared up completely within one to two days. And actually, there was no need to go see the vet in the end. Then, when she was out walking, Krista shared the tip about colloidal silver with another dog owner whose bulldog had ongoing eye infections. And a few days later, he stopped her on the street to say, thanks for the tip. The colloidal silver cleared up his dog's eye infection completely. So clearly, it's one of those tips that's worth passing on. Mm -hmm. 
So now let's get to how to flush the dog's eyes with colloidal silver. I always start off with washing my hands because we need to keep everything super clean around infected eyes. I take a small bowl, place two cotton rounds inside, then I shake the bottle of colloidal silver to stir up the suspended microparticles and then pour just enough of the liquid to saturate the cotton rounds. I angle the dog's head a little so the water drains inwards towards the tear duct. Then wipe any excess muck from the corner of the eye, but I never wipe the eyeball itself. Lying the dog on the side is another way of doing this. Or alternatively, using a dropper to squirt the liquid instead of using the cotton rounds. Having said all this about eye infections, I'll also add that it's normal for a dog to have ordinary sleep in their eyes in the mornings. In fact, most mornings I see little dried bits of brown sleep in the corners of Sophie's eyes which I just wipe off. Again, hashtag not the most fun part of having a dog, but a part of life. I'll leave a link down below to the equivalent colloidal silver products to what I use if you're interested in getting them. And I have a little bonus tip for you, and that's to pour a bit of colloidal silver over a wound to clean it up and disinfect it. This also helps prevent the spread of infection. Colloidal silver is made from clean, distilled water and won't sting your dog. Look, it's just wonderful stuff. Do bear in mind that I still advocate going to the vet if the eye problem is active, but at the very least it gives you something in the first aid toolkit that you can act on right away, and at times even clear up the problem before you even get to the vet. If you found this video useful, leave a thumbs up. If you like, subscribe to this channel, and if you have any questions, talk to me in the comments below. See you again really soon, and bye for now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>